And then I'll put on the speaker view first. YouTube 其实就在我们的那个我们专门有个频道其实它就在我们的频道上那个就看就可以就直接上我们的频道就可以好现在我把链接给您私人发过去了我也可以放一下我们的那个放一下我们的群好的好的好的我放上去了 Okay, I, uh, just to update everybody, uh, we are going to start um, because some people couldn't um, get into the Zoom. So we have been just helping people to get them a, a live broadcasting link on YouTube so they can, everybody can follow on YouTube. Um, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce uh, our beautiful Master Lai, who many of you have met uh, on different occasions, and uh, we have been uh, benefiting from her leading the instructor course as well as morning Baduanjin exercise. Uh, many of you may see her face before, but I would like to take a moment to uh, read out her some of her achievements. She will be too shy to say that herself, but I should say it. Okay, I'll read in Chinese first, and then I'll uh, highlight them in English. Okay, so just bear with me. So, uh, Lai Jianhui Lao Shi Shi Ta De Ta Shi Shang Hai Ti Yu Xue Yuan De Jiao Shi Zai Ta De Zhuan Ye Ling Yu Fu Fang Xiang Shi Wu Shu Yu Min Zu Zhuan Tong Ti Yu Shi Ye Zhuan Tong Ti Yu Yang Sheng. 与健康促进方向。他现在职业的等级是国家体育总局健身气功七段，国家体育总局健身气功外援专家，呃，国家社会体育指导员，国家健身气功裁判。Okay, so far, uh, we know Master Lai is from a uh, sport university of sports in Shanghai, and her specialized area is uh, traditional sports and martial arts, and also with the uh, uh, health, uh, traditional health um, nurturing and health promotion uh, specialized in this area of research. And she has gained currently is the seventh Duan in the Health Qigong uh, awarded by the National Sports Bureau. And he, she's also been appointed as the um, overseas uh, specialist in health Qigong by the National Sports Bureau. And she has, uh, she has also a qualified a national uh, health Qigong judge in China. Uh, she also helped, uh, I read in Chinese uh, the next part, she also took part in um, a TV program in the CCTV, national TV, CCTV channel five. Uh, Yang Shi Wu Tao, Jian Shen Dong Qi Lai, Lan Mu, Jian Shen Qi Gong Ba Duan Jin, Jiao Xue Zhu Jiang. Zhu Yao Yun Dong Rong Yu, Shi Jie Jian Shen Qi Gong Da Sai, Wu Qin Xi Guan Jun, Quan Guo Jian Shen Qi Gong Wu Qin Xi Guan Jun. 全国武术锦标赛太极拳冠军八卦掌冠军太极推手冠军 So some of her, um, in her professional martial arts career, she has achieved the following titles. One is the health, World Health Qigong Tournament Champion for Five Animal Frolics. And she also is the gold medalist for Wu Qin's five animal frolics uh, for national health Qigong tournaments. Uh, also a Tai Chi champion, 
uh, gold medalist in the National Wushu Championship. She's also gained a gold medal um, on Ba Gua, Ba Gua Boxing. Uh, as well as Tai Chi Pushing Hands champion. So there's a lot of glorious title, <laughs> and she's usually very shy to tell you, but she has been, uh, it's very accomplished, we can say, a martial artist. And now she spent more of her time doing teaching and researching on traditional sport for health, nurturing, and Qigong. Okay, so I will, this is a, just a short introductory to Master Lai. This is just a simple introduction to Lai Jianhui's presentation. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, 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 我们以热烈的掌声欢迎赖建慧老师给我们做精彩的讲座。So uh, let's put our hands together for the uh, uh, excellent, uh, well, we expected the excellent um, lecture by Master Lai. Okay? Enough, please. Well okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to thank um, uh, Faye for this opportunity to share um, the teachings with you. Um, it, without Faye, I would probably never do this uh, lecture. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she said, um, um, I will say thank you again to Faye because today she will be uh, working very hard. <laughs> okay, now let, let's make a start. Right, the title for today's lecture is called How the Key. Oh, one moment. I'll just, I'll just switch back my screen. Okay. So today's title for our lecture is The Key Requirements in Health Qigong Practice. Before we make a start on the, my lecture, I'd like to ask you a question. Well, the question is, why do we practice Qigong? And today I'd like to make a, use two examples to explain why we need to practice Qigong. 来，先让我们看两张图片。Let's have a look at the two pictures. 这是第一张图片。This is the first picture. 第二张。And the second picture. 那么我们可以看到这两个房间，它最大的不同，一个就是所有的物品都在井然有序的摆放着。so uh, it's obvious to us, I'm sure, the first picture on the left corner is a very tidy and all the uh, is orderly room, whereas the second picture on the right is a messy room. Isn't that right? So, so which room would you prefer? 
我相信很多人都还喜欢会喜欢选第一个很干净的、很很舒适的房间，对吧 ？I'm sure most of us, if not all of us, will choose the clean and tidy room. OK， 好，那么我们再思考一下，如果这个房间是你的身体的话。So let's have a think. If this room is your body, so which room would you like to your body to become or your body to be in? Okay. 同时，你反复到自己身上去，你去思考一下，如果你的身体是一个非常无序的这么一个身体，你是不是就会感觉很不舒服 ？So I think everybody would prefer to to choose the clean and tidy room for your body, and because of that, don't you feel comfortable? And your body will feel comfortable if you're in such a environment. So, now we can think about it. If our body has any uncomfortable feeling, it's quite possible that your body's environment is disrupted. So, as you can imagine or have a think, if our body um, in the room, or it is the room, it's a messy um, state of affair. So the discomfort of your body, you can imagine the discomfort or um, un feeling unwell that how your body would, would feel. So, in the way, when you do this, you will do what? If you are not comfortable, you will do what? 可能你第一个想法就是我去找医生。When you're feeling unwell or ill, what would you do first thing? Would you go to a doctor? 那有没有想过我自己先去了解自己的身体 ？Have you thought about try to think and understand your body first? 尝试跟自己的身体去对话。And try to have a conversation and dialogue with your your body. So, if you can communicate with your body well, I believe it will understand you. It will not let you feel so painful. So, if you can communicate with your body well, I believe it will understand you. If you have a um, good conversation or communication dialogue with your own body and you understand your body, your body will um, function and behave better. So we So that's one thing I often say is to uh, understand your body and to be kind with your body. <coughs> Let's have a look at the second example. <coughs> now look at the mugs. They're all lined up in order. If you get used to uh, organizing your stuff uh, in an orderly fashion, and imagine if one day someone come in and messes up. So you can see she's uh, holding something. If somebody come in and one day and the, the position has been moved, out of the shape. And if, say, for example, the direction changes, and is that true that you will spot the change immediately? 
Would you would you discover that? Would you notice that? Well, let's think of another way. If our the organs in our body inside is all working in orderly fashion. If there's any changes from external environment and entering our body, um, don't you think you will notice that immediately? And once you've noticed and become aware of that change, you would be able to adjust it. So why we practice Qigong? The practice, the Qigong practice is the process to make our body operate in orderly fashion. So Qigong is to bring the order to our body and to be able to perceive the entry of any foreign um, energies or changes of the uh, distort, discordant state in the body um, in, the first, in the first instance to be able to perceive and aware of any change. So once we become aware of these changes or imbalance, then we can immediately um, go through some self-adjustment, self-healing and self-repair. Okay. Okay, now let's have a look. The health qigong that we have practiced, uh, focused most recently. Now you can see on the screen the um, official description of health qigong in Chinese and in English. Health qigong is a new development from the traditional sport program that combines physical activity, breathing and psychological adjustments as the main form of exercise and is an important part of the long Chinese culture. That's it. She just uh, explains the health qigong. It has the combination of the three interventions um, of the training in the body shape, uh, as well as you know, adjusting the breathing, as well as the psychological or emotional um, activities. So uh, covering all of the three cultivation. Currently, the under the umbrella name of Hell's Qigong, there are ten set of sequences or routines being promoted. And that we know very well from uh, are called Ba Duan Jin, Eight Brocade, Six Healing Sound, Five Animal Frolics, and Yi Jin Jing, um, Tender Muscle 
changing classics. And the newer second part, newer part, is a break dance Dao Wu, uh, Ma Wang Dui, uh, Dao Yin Shu, uh, seated 12 bro brocade and Dao Yin Yang Sheng Gong 12 methods, uh, plus Tai Chi um, stick, uh, Yang Sheng stick. Uh, the latest, the 10th one, uh, has recently been introduced to the syllabus is called Ming Mu Gong, is brightening the eye Qigong. Okay. Um, uh, the first part of so the, as we see from the definitions of health qigong, we notice the three important aspects in our practice. First is the shape, the cultivation of the body. The second is the breathing, the regulation of breathing. And the third and most important is the mind, cultivating the mind, emotion, psychological change. These are the three key aspects of health Qigong. Okay. And we call the three aspects, in short, we call them three cultivations. As you can see, as you can see on the diagram, the first one is the most important on the basis, it's called cultivating the body posture. The second level is called cultivating the breathing. And the third level up is cultivating the mind. And of course, the, all of these will eventually lead us to the highest level, which is the cultivating the morality. And you notice I mentioned the highest level. And with this diagram, we, all, we can also uh, point out, I'd like to point out, the cultivating the body, the posture, is absolutely the foundation of all other levels. And especially for novice, for beginners um, trying out Qigong, we everybody, without exception, has to go through learning the posture, feeling the posture, and understand the how the body work. And the importance of this cultivating posture body it can be described um, similar to the foundation of a building. The building only safe when you have a good foundation. So when we have a good foundation in the postures, then we can talk about or closely um, cultivate the breathing level. Then uh, the next level up is about cultivating the mind. Once we complete all three levels, that is the body, is the breathing, and the mind, then we reach to the uh, next, the higher level. 
called cultivating morality. When we talk about the morality, it's uh, not for what we often think about to be generally a good person. Um, it's a little more profound than that. And this uh, morality in, in, in the sense of cultivation, it refers to for a practitioner or high level of practitioner, um, understand the universal truth between the heaven and earth and the the universe basically the the way universe operates and changes and to be in harmony with it um, of course, the uh, road to high-level cultivation uh, can be many, and this is the, the um, if you like, the path I'm describing is suitable for the vast majority of practitioners. The three cultivation theory is doesn't only exist in today. It has been existing for a long, long time since the Yellow Emperor in the classics. So in the first so this is a quote from the uh, an old book called the Yellow Emperor's Classics, in the classics sometimes translated, and there are many chapters. One of the chapters is called the Universal Truth, um, Shang Gu, Tian Zhen Lun, and in there she will explain. So, Okay, so in that universal truth, Huang Di is the yellow emperor. Uh, the yellow emperor inquired or asked, I have heard of people in ancient times who spoken of as, as the real man. I use the real man here, but it's in the sense that they have achieved an enlightened man, enlightened being. <laughs> okay, so who knew the secret of universe and held yin and yang, the world, in the palm of their hands? They extracted essence from nature and practiced various disciplines such as Dao Yin and Qigong and breathing and visualization exercises to integrate the body, mind and the spirit. They remain undisturbed and thus attained extraordinary levels of accomplishment, uh, accomplishment, uh, accomplishment. <laughs> Can't say it. <laughs> okay, you got the idea. <laughs> I want to draw your attention to this phrase in Chinese called Ji Ro Ruo Yi. What does it mean? So the meaning of this phrase is 
in our body, we not only just have the external part, which is the skin and the soft tissues and, and muscles, we also have internal organs. Um, the internal things that we can't see or we can't control and the external part, and they are part of one, a whole, part of whole. 那么第二个呢, I also like to draw your attention to this phrase, 呼吸精气. 那么呼吸精气什么意思呢? So what does that mean? It means, 呼吸 means the breathing, and it's the word breathing adjustment. 而且这里还专门讲叫呼吸精气，它没有其他气，呼吸精气，精气我们可以简单理解为是比较精纯的好的这种气息。And uh, breathing into 精气, the second part, uh, is 精气 can be translated or understood as a purified qi. 好，那么肌肉用力是调身，呼吸精气是调息。the third phrase I want to draw your attention to is called 独立守神. It's about the mind. Yeah. So this means that we should be, um, in practice, should enter a frame of mind that it, in a high degree of, of concentration. And this concentration is for the spirit to be um, uh, uh, in a state of mindfulness in the present moment. So, in the as you can see in uh, ancient times, a thousand years ago, in this Yellow Emperor's in the uh, classics, they already mentioned about the three cultivations. And who can achieve the three uh, cultivations? And so um, in the universal truth, who can achieve this? Yeah. So according to the yellow um, emperors in the classics, um, man or human being can be described into four different levels. And the highest level of the four levels is called Zhenren. Uh, sometimes uh, here I translate it as a real man, but I also uh, said it means the enlightened man or enlightened or achieved um, being. So they are the highest level. The next level down is called Zhiren, intelligent man, intelligent, clever man. The next level is Shengren. Shengren is... Um, uh, I think it's um, we can translate it as um, almost um, a saint. In usually we call uh, in you know a shaman is like a saint. It's a, a better uh, you know better. Um, yeah, it's much much more uh, you know respected. Uh, we call Shengren saints, they are much more respect, respectful man. Maybe this is a, a good translation. And then mm -hmm. the next level down is uh, what we call just the Fan Ren, right? Oh, Fan Ren. Oh, 
就贤惠的贤，呃，不是贤惠的贤，呃，就贤达的贤。哦、oh, ，闲达的闲，对，就是不是那个闲，不是那个空闲的闲哦，就是这个人很很很，应该就贤惠的贤，贤惠的贤啊、呃。那这种人两竖一个右，然后一个他比他比普通人要高一个层次。Okay, the next, the fourth level is called 闲人，闲 is um almost we describe it as a well behaved. Well-behaved person, um, good, uh, polite, and, and well-behaved. So these are the four generally described by the emperor. Uh, you look emperors in the classics. So, 那么前面讲的这一段，呼吸精细，读就独立手成肌肉一，讲的这都是最高级别的人，就真人他做的事情。So the the way uh, we have um, in classics in the um, uh, Yellow Emperors in the classics, um, only the highest level, the real man or the achieved enlightened being, will be able to achieve achieve the three cultivations. So, 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 so,
uh, unit, uh, the suitable limits. This, uh, this phrase in Chinese called shen xing, there are two characters in shen and xing. Shen means the, sh the, the anatomy of your body, the actual uh, body parts. Xing means the shape th that we're using the body parts to create a posture. A, between the posture, we have movement. So we, it is the uh, unity of the two and the, uh, create a suitable uh, in, uh, harmony. So we Shen so it is a, a process to, you know, to use the body movements and to create a shape, the required, the shape of, um, of the flow that, that the energy can then reach. So this is the um, two parts. It's uh, the, the coordination between the shape of the body and the posture, the body parts and the shape. 那么调身的第一个最明显的这个效果是什么呢? So what's the effect of this um, 调, cultivating the body? 就是引起运柔 The first function of the uh, cultivation, body cultivation, is 引起运柔, is to make the body soft. 那么大家 只要只要你练过气功，你就会发现很多动作，比如说我们八段锦里面的双手，呃呃，双手攀足、顾肾腰。当你俯身前下的时候，你就会觉得可能我的大腿会有点被拉伸开了，对不对？So uh, in a uh, using an example uh, of a posture, in the Baduan Jin, there is a posture called um, reaching the feet to strengthen the kidney. So as you bend and flex forward and downwards, you feel your body slowly, um, you know, leading it to become supple, leading it to become soft. So this is the um, this is the effect and the function of qigong, of the shape. 刚开始你可能会觉得有点痛苦，但练了一段时间后，你发现你能适应这样的要求。at the beginning, if it, you are new to it, you may feel um, painful and stretching, uh, feeling at the back of your legs, back of your calves, and feeling uncomfortable. But over time, when you practice regularly, it will the discomfort will ease. <laughs> so this is the first e effect of Cultivating the body. Uh, there is an old saying in Chinese is when our ligament being extended one inch, uh, you can extend your life expand uh, life uh, by ten years. 专业运动员的时候呢，这个压腿、这个脚随便到这里，没问题。然后压着睡觉都没问题，很舒服。但现在不行了。I I I have a real experience with this um this softness or flexibility. When I was a um professional athlete in training, when I was young, I can stretch with my toes um uh, pull back um to my chin. Um, to, well, to, to my nose and chin, and I don't feel any discomfort. Uh, I can sleep in this position, but now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Means I'm getting old. <laughs> You're not old. <laughs> You're too old. 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 You're too old.
<laughs> okay, I said she's not old. She's still very young, uh, and she and then she, she said that's why I have to keep practicing. That's why I need to keep up the stretch, and so hopefully my body becomes uh, more soft and flexible again. <laughs> 变得柔软的时候，你就会发现你体内的气血更加的畅通。and why do we want the body to be soft? Well, when our body becomes soft and flexible, you will find the uh, blood and blood circulations and qi circulation, the energy will circulate much more smoothly. And this is the second um, health benefit or functions, the effect of uh, body cultivation. 还有第二个更重要的是什么呢？我们中国有一句老的练功老话叫。So the all in all, the more more importantly, uh, the aim for body cultivation is that without accurate, this is the old saying, without the accurate movements, the energy flow would not be smooth. And without the smooth flow of energy, the qi, the mind cannot be calm. And without the calmness of the mind, the spirit will be out of focus. So the in Chinese, you, uh, my Chinese friends can read Chinese, so I won't read it here. So uh, uh, say, imagine if you, I use an example, if you're sitting on a chair with your legs crossed uh, for a while, what do you find? Do you find when you try to stand up, um, your, uh, your, your legs going to sleep, uh, a little bit numbness in your legs? Do you find that? And the reason your legs may feel numbness or uh, going to sleep is because the energy flow, or we call it qi xue, is the qi and blood and doesn't circulate as well. Chi Okay, uh, when we talk about qi, there are two uh, meanings uh, to, to the qi. One meaning is the breathing our, about qi that we breathe, the, the, um, the air. The other part is the internal flow of um, the energy flow within our body. We usually refer to as qi xue, I mean the qi and blood, uh, with the blood with energy. This is why when we are sitting or standing in an incorrect posture for a long time, the, we feel the maybe our body parts go to sleep or having start to feel numbness. It's because this qi xue, the energy doesn't flow well. And when you practice qigong uh, regularly for a long time, you suddenly realize, or maybe you already realize, in qigong it's actually teaching us the correct body posture Align body alignment, and so if not all the time, but 
regularly, we will be aware how we stand, how we walk, how we sit. 第一个概念就是身，那我们来看看身包含什么。Okay, this chart um it describes the our how to cultivate the body. 好，那么光谈我们这个身的时候呢，我们可以看到我们的身啊，大致的啊，不是特别细的，它包括我们的脊柱、肌肉、脏腑、经络等等。uh, when we talk about the anatomy of the body, uh, very broadly, I uh, list it here, is, um, you know, it's uh, including the spine, including the muscles, including the in internal organs, and uh, the meridians for the energy. And uh, due to the limitation of time today, I will just focus on the spinal uh, parts today. Okay, let's have a look at this chart here. This is the um, when the, a, a fertilized egg inside the womb of the mother. Um, this is how our life begins. So at about six weeks, um, from the ultrasound, we already can see the form of the spine. So the second picture is the side view of the ultrasound scan of a um, sort of growing fetus. Uh, uh, and so we have, we can see the spine, the shape of the spine can be visibly seen clearly. Uh, yes, sometimes, um, you know, in a very rare cases, um, we sadly see sometimes, um, you know, the uh, the embryos have a formality, uh, have a um, dysfunctional uh, fault in the spine. And when there is a defect, defect in the spine, and quite often um, the, the the fetus can't uh, develop into the into a baby, healthy baby. And even if um, the embryo did survive into a, a baby, and quite often they are unhealthy and have lots of health problems. <coughs> 来，再让我们看一看。啊，我们长大之后，这是我们的脊柱，我们可以看到很多神经会从我们的脊柱的孔隙当中穿出来。And this is a spine um, illustrate um, picture of a grown up a person. As you can see, in our spine, our spinal column, there are lots of nerves coming out linked to the different parts of the body. 请大家注意看，几乎每一条神经或者几条神经，它都会连接到你的脏脏器血。And please take a note: these these um nerves, uh, you can say the nerves um lines always, nearly always linked to a particular organ. 想一想。and if you uh, let's imagine if one of these nerve um, lines is uh, being uh, cut off or um, it's 
it's not forming right. It's it's dysfunction. Will happen. One of the personal experience I have encountered is from a relative. Uh, when my relative um, have injured uh, their back, I, the first thing I tried is to press one of the uh, meridians on, on their hands and the back of the hands um, and trying to, because it is uh, linked with the, uh, the spine, but uh, they didn't have any feelings at all. This means the, the nerve system has, the nerve pass has been uh, disconnected, has been damaged. <coughs> 所以可由此可见，极度的健康，它会直接的就影响到我们脏腑的健康。So as we can see from this chart, the health of our spine is direct has a direct um influence to the health function of our organs. 那么，如果我们的脊柱变形，就会不同程度的压迫神经。and if our spine is out of shape, um, it will inevitably compress the nerve systems. Uh, and very simple examples, if our, um, the back of the neck uh, is part of the spine, um, is uh, having problems, then immediately we will feel the numbness in our hands and arms. And if you have a serious um, this shape in the lumbar area in your spine, then you will you will for sure have numbness in your legs. And likewise, if you are starting to feel uh, discomfort or numbness or going to sleep in your, uh, have, or having those symptoms in your arms or legs, um, you, can, you should check out your spinal health, uh, health state of affairs, healthy, whether it's problems. Um, as we go through life, uh, we, we use our spines all of the time, um, working, studying, going about our lives. And we, you know, the, the way we use our body can, you know, cause problem for our spine. I think uh, we can relate to some of these uh, pictures uh, or two or three pictures regularly. Uh, this is the uh, common mistakes that we make all the time. Okay, in our, uh, especially in this special period of our, uh, our time, uh, we are using spending more time on our phones and on our uh, PCs. So these two pictures uh, are the most common. So so uh, you can have a think. Do you uh, do you have symptoms like a little dizziness or you know periodically dizziness or um, the tinnitus, almost like tinnitus, but you you hear when you stand up quickly, you hear a ringing in your ears. 
你的肩膀这一块你怎么都觉得不舒服，有很有可能也就是你的颈椎出问题。And and to uh, another problem um, symptoms that reflecting a poor problem in the neck is in your shoulder. Uh, quite often, if you feel stiffness in your shoulders and painful shoulders, that can be also a symptom for um, a early problem in your neck, uh, in in the spine in your neck. 好，那如果你的胸椎出问题怎么办呢？就会出现什么症状呢？我们最简单的就是你的心肺这一块会出问题，还有你的脾胃这一块也容易出问题。If you have a problem with the sections, the back of your chest, the spines in the back of your chest, then quite often the problem. This is the highlight in the red, red color, by the way. Yeah. So you quite often it affects your heart and lungs. 再往下就是腰，其实腰是伤的最多的。Um, the the next part of the section uh, in the highlighted, well, it's in the color of white here on the picture, um, is the more or less the most frequently injured area is the lumbar. 那么如果你的腰出问题呢，很可能就是你的消化道这一块。比如说你的这个这个，我们这一讲的呃，很多人现在有。Uh, the injuries to this section uh, can cause um, internal um, unwell, can be, for example, uh, digestive systems, um, you know, that you may have runny stomach or maybe constipation or anything related to that uh, similar symptoms. And often, uh, women can have um, you know, women problems in, in this area too. 还有，比如说你的膝盖有问题，经常很多会会说膝盖有问题，包括包括我啊。那么膝盖有问题，他不对，我是膝盖的问题。然后医生让我去去去怎么治膝盖？其实，你你再往往回找往上找，可能你的腰有问题，是因为你的腰有问题导致了你的膝盖有问题。Uh, another um, interesting thing here, the health of your lumbar is very closely linked with the health of your knees. Quite often people have um, problems with the knees, painful knees, um, including myself. Um, I also have uh, some knee uh, problem. But um, in fact, it's a, the root of the problem of the knees is traced, can be traced back to the House of the lumber. So, we have a lot of health for us. So, we have a lot of health for us. So, this is to illustrate the spine's health is very, very important to us. So, if we don't understand the body, many diseases will come from the spine. And if we don't know how to protect our spine, many chronic disease um, can start in, in our body. And so what can we do to protect our spine? And this is where uh, cultivating the body comes in. 好，来，让我们看一看我们调身啊，调身的方法。So this, let's have a look at the method of training for uh body cultivation. 一般来讲呢，我们普通的大众的练习方法，呃，有站式、坐式、卧式和各种弓气功动作。Okay, so normally these are the commonly used methods, like standing, seated, lying down, and um, mixed posture. 我想暂时大家很多都比较容易理解，那么就是我们的站桩讲比较多的。And standing can be very e、uh, easy and straightforward. It's like 站桩 standing like a pole. 那么坐式的话呢，也有很多形式，其实。呃，大家可能比较容易理解，就是我们讲的打坐
seated can be many way and shape and form as well. The most frequently that we can relate to is like seated meditation. Of course, there are other ways um, seated um, uh, so cultivation as well, uh, if we have opportunity in the future. Um, the third one is called lying down. We don't see this uh, full method of training uh, very often. Uh Okay, one of the uh, lying down position is interesting. Uh, Master I just, uh, you know, demonstrated. So imagine that the wall behind her is the, the floor. <laughs> so she's lying down on the on her side with the, um, the sort of like contacting floor uh, side of the body, hands covering the ears. And so the fingertips are resting on her temples. And uh, the opposite leg is uh, flexed and went over. So this is one of the uh, positions of um, uh, training methods in lying down. Okay, so that, uh, that, that method of lying down is uh, uh, one of the most a well-known one called Peng Zhu, who is most famous for um, uh, uh, sleeping Qigong. <laughs> <laughs> the legend has that he lived 800 years old. Okay, if anyone if anyone has insomnia, you can try um, to use this position um, to, uh, to to get back into sleep or improve your quality of sleep um, and make sure you have the thumb uh, at the bottom of your ears, and the sort of uh, thumb is behind the ears, and uh, your uh, the index finger, middle finger, and ring finger gently rest on the temples, um, and you know, sort of like just covering the half of your face almost. Um, so try that one if you like. If you uh, like, see if it works for you. This is the one of the method, of course, and there are others, and we don't have time to mention all. And the, the last category is the mixed. This mix means all kinds of qigong postures. Okay, let's take two examples. Okay, the first one is uh, standing like a pole, Zhan Zhuang. So in our teaching, we quite often use the description to stand uh, like a tree. Okay, 好, 那什么是树呢? So what, what what do we mean by that? It means that uh, you imagine you have roots growing under your feet. Okay, 
只有你往下长得越好，长长得越深越宽，那么你上面的这一棵树才能越高越大。So as you can see, there's a, a illustration of a tree there with a line、um, representing the soil. So the more our roots and our feet. And、the wider the roots spread, that will give us new, you know, strength to grow as wide as as in the root, the equally、um, spread, equal spread. 想要有对这个身形和形气有更深的了解的，你们可以去网上查一下形气玉佩林，它的铭文叫什么？到网上去找“行气玉佩林”，哦，它是一个一个一个刻在一个六面体的一个石呃那个玉石上面的一段文字。哦、oh. ，Okay, those who are interested in finding more about a Zhan Zhuang standing like a tree, uh, can go online to search an old um a stone carved um sort of poet called uh or、oh, I, I have to get the that that、um, separately. Yeah, it's teaching about how to do the Zhan Zhuang with breathing. It's not just breathing. It's Zhan Zhuang. It's a uh, uh, breathing. It's 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 breathing. So the, in essence, in a nutshell,、um, if we summarize the message from that、uh, old classic um, in carved,、um, it means uh, uh, if you grow the root, the more we grow the roots, the energy that down the the energy from the mother earth will rise, will rise through the root into your body and grow. Uh, through the body upwards. So this is the the in essence how the energy will、um, will rise in connecting with the roots. 好，那么我们从这个点开始，就是我们的丹田，可以去简单看一下啊。Okay, this yellow dot is a、uh, 丹田 the field of chi. 当你调整身形以后，你会发现你的身体啊，从头。到脚，它可以成为一个非常正的三角形。And with the dotted red line, and this is the almost the how you will imagine, visualize your body will form a triangle, and you will find it's the the your root and feet is supporting solidly to the crown of the head. 大方向把它固固定好以后，就干嘛呢？啊，一个是脚向下，头向上；第二个呢是手，两手是向外；第三个呢是前后，前后的这么一个劲，六个地方，六六个方向的一个劲。最后呢，你的身体啊，就像一个太极图。So these、uh, these are the key、um, practice in、uh, your when you do practice Zhan Zhuang,、uh, you you need to feel the energy is going down, growing your on your feet, you're growing your roots, the crown is growing high, so the opposite energy is、um, sort of lifting, expanding、uh, from high to low, and sideways you feel the Elbows, your arms are expanding sideways, left and right, and、uh, from the side view, your、um, your tummy and you internally, your tummy should be feeling、uh, backwards and forward stretch and expansion. So in the three-dimensional,、um, you know, expansion, 
And when you reach to the three dimensional expansion, you will feel the body becomes a large balloon, like the, the yellow uh, circle. This is how the energy expands, um, feeling into the shape of a Tai Chi yin yang circle. <laughs> 当你变到一定程度，它是一个一个立体的一个球。So it may at the moment it looks the yellow is a circle, but in real in reality in the three dimensional uh, way that we should feel we become a a, a balloon. It is a ball. It's a large chi balloon. 所以当当你拿拿到这个感觉之后啊。你的你的极度，它就自然的在这个这个太极圆的空间里面，它就自然的它可以调整。So once you reach to this state of feeling, the state of mind and uh, energy, it's your body's alignment will be uh, in a natural straight alignment. 那么当你调整以后呢，你的极度就会是。趋于正常，而不是像这个不正常的歪斜状态。And when when uh, your body is naturally aligned, you can see the spine is the best position for the spine, natural alignment, and rather than our incorrect posture, putting it into an awkward position. 所以我们说，平不正，那气不顺。and this is why it's, we said, like what we said before, without the correct posture, um, the qi, the energy, would not flow smoothly. Okay, and let's have a look at the second um, example of a posture. It's in five, uh, eight um, ba duan jin, uh, ba duan jin, eight pieces of brocade. Yeah. 那么, 这个动作的话呢，它的技术要求，第一个就是什么？当你做这个外旋手臂这个过程的时候，你的身体我们是要求要正朝前。So the requirement, uh, technical requirement, your your trunk of the body is required facing forward. 那么为什么要正朝前呢？因为当你正朝前去做这个动作的时候，你的这个颈椎的旋转。Oh, why do we need to keep the body forward? It's, well, it only because when your body is facing forward, then it allows your uh, turning of the head and looking sideways to be um, as much as it can, the lateral rotation to reach to the capacity. So why do we want to have the maximum rotation, lateral rotation on the neck? Well, that's because we want to stimulate the meridian called Da Zui Big Point. And you can find the big point at the back of your neck, the sticking out, the vert one vertebrae, the most sticking out, just behind that, the natural dip is the da zui. Da zui xue, uh, this uh, meridian point is described as the all yang energy, the gathering point. So it's very important. 然后这个这个这个阳大椎上的阳气呢，就会跟着督脉的阳气一起上行到我们头部。So the all the yang energy, to like um from the side branch, if you like, will meet up here and join up with the main yang energy channel, the governing vessel, traveling upwards. 所以如果说当你做这个转头的时候啊，你的身体跟着转过来。so as you can imagine, if you're taking the body with you, if you as you look over your shoulder, if you take the shoulder with you, then there will be less turning 
from the neck and it would, you would not be able to stimulate this meridian point effectively. 那你没有办法正常的、正确的旋转，你就很难刺激到这个大椎穴。Yeah. So again, if you're um, taking the shoulder with you when you turn, then you will not, you will not be able to stimulate the meridian well. 所以话呢，哎，身体正朝前，然后保证你的颈椎水平旋转，就可以很好的刺激到大椎穴。so this is why the technical requirement asks you to keep your shoulders open, broad and down, and still while you're turning to look to the side. So it allows you to stimulate Dadri effectively. 那么大椎穴的位置你调好以后,它是组织你的肩颈不适,还有你的五劳七伤的一种虚损。So the uh, stimulation to the Dadri can help um, to bring about the well, well-being of the neck and the softness, uh, flexibility of your spine, but also trying to prevent um, the five internal energy, um, uh, five internal injuries and seven emotional stress. So, you要明白这个要求要点和我们的锻炼目的是什么，这个调身调对了，就对你的脊柱会有很好的帮助。yeah, so uh, going back to the importance of doing the posture correctly will achieve, will give you the opportunity to achieve these functions and effects. This is why we say um, body cultivation is absolutely fundamental, it's the basics uh, of all other cultivation. 它也是保护我们脊柱、内脏、还有肌肉，包括经络等等，它的一种好的呃气血畅通，一种好的方法。And it's also a good method to protect our spine and exercise our muscle tones, improving the function of our internal organs, and to promote good flow of energy in the energy channel, the meridians. 嗯，好，这是调身。uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, we have spent a good time on the, the basic level. Now let's uh, uh, get going on the, the next level. <laughs> okay, the next level is called cultivating the breath. 我们行和神的一个桥梁 So what is the, uh, uh, cultivating the breath? Well, we can describe the breathing uh, to be the bridge between the mind and body, between the visible and invisible. 好,来看看什么是调息。调息呢,是指我们是主动的,自觉的, 去控制或者说调整自己呼吸的次数或者深度等等，那么让它来达到我们练功的要求。调息，cultivating uh, the breathing refers to actively and consciously adjust and control the number and the depth of our breathing and make it to meet the requirements of the purpose of practice. There is a technical term we call a one cycle of inhale and exhale to be called a one C. This C means one cycle. Yeah. 平时啊，可能我们对呼吸不会太过意的去注意，因为它每时每刻都在。Usually, uh, uh, we we'll go through our lives and take the breathing for granted, and we don't take too much notice of it. 但当你感冒的时候，我相信你肯定有感觉。But when you uh, suffer from flu, for example, <laughs> you will notice the breathing. 想一想，感冒的时候。
是用你的嘴来进行呼吸，是不是你整晚都没法去睡觉？ So when you have flu or unwell in general, and don't, you feel your nose is blocked, and when you go to sleep, you probably have to breathe from the mouth, and it's very making the mouth very dry and uncomfortable. So that night, you feel your spirit is very, very quiet, very uncomfortable, and you feel very unhappy. And it, when you are um, in uh, breathing affected, and you probably feel your mood also being affected as well. If you can't have a good night rest, and you'll be feeling tired during the day, and maybe feeling less content, so it's all kind of affecting. 就更不要提鼻炎和肺炎的人，他就更难受。嗯。And、uh, you know the other two conditions in this、uh, sort of like a funnel-shaped uh, uh, funnel is like pneumonia and、um, uh, is it rhin、uh, rhinitis? It, these are more serious condition, and you know, so be feeling more uncomfortable. So, we Chinese people very early know that breathing is very important for people. So in ancient Chinese, our ancestors are always taught us、um, the breathing is very, very important. So he says, "Breathing is not right, it is not smooth." And the old sayings that it taught us, without the smoothness, smooth the qi and the breathing,、um, the mind cannot be calm. So how do we do it? 就用我们气功里面的特殊的调息方法来慢慢的缓解它。So what can we do about it? And this is where why we need to cultivate the breathing in qigong. 好，那我让我们来看看调息的方法。And、now let's have a look at the method, training method. 一般来讲，我们的调息方法有这么几种。自然呼吸、腹式呼吸、停闭式呼吸和提肛呼吸，这些呼吸在我们健身气功里面都能见到。Um, broadly speaking, we can、um, describe, categorize these different four category of breathing, and all of these four categories、uh, have been used in health 气功。那么，自然呼吸，我们经常提的，你所有的呃。And、the first one is called、uh, natural breathing, and we use that very often. 那么，当你练到一定的程度之后呢，你对动作很熟悉后呢，哎，我们会有第二种叫腹式呼吸。And when you reach to a certain level, then we have in, we will encourage for abdominal breathing. 腹式呼吸又。基本上有两种，一种叫顺腹式，一种叫逆腹式。And within the abdominal breathing, we can then further categorize into natural abdominal breathing or reverse abdominal breathing. 顺腹式呼吸呢，相对来讲好理解一点，就是在呼吸自然的这个状态上，让你的这个呼吸更深更长。The natural abdominal breathing is、uh, can be described as a natural extension of a deeper、um, deeper level of natural breathing. 那逆腹式呼吸，顾名思义就是反过来。And the reverse abdominal breathing、um, can be a, a quite self-telling is to、uh, change to to reverse, reverse to to change it back back the other way. 待会会稍微讲一讲逆腹式呼吸，你怎怎么样去做啊？我们先讲停闭式呼吸。什么？我说，呃，待会我们再举具体的例子，怎么样去做逆腹式呼吸？怎么样去理解逆腹式呼吸？然后我们先讲后面两个。Okay, I will give an example of reverse abdominal abdominal breathing later. And now let's get on just describing the categories of breathing. 嗯，那么。第三种呢是停闭式呼吸。The third category of breathing is called close breathing. 那么我们在很多的气功中里面都有，比如说我们的左右开弓式射雕，当你开弓到尽头这一瞬间是会有一个停闭的。我们经常说是略停一二，这会你是略略憋气的
For example, when we do the um, uh, drawing the bow, uh, posing as an archer in eight uh, brocade, um, the, uh, when you draw the bow to the maximum, there is a moment that you pause the breathing and you can, in your mind, count to one, two. So those, those moments is what we call the closed breathing. 那么第四个是提肛呼吸，提肛呼吸呢，最最典型的一个动作就是我们五旬戏里面的这个人体，人体这个动作，提肿这一瞬间是提肛的。Okay, the uh, next one called uh, lifting the anus. You as you inhale, you actually feel your tightening or squeeze the anus and lift upwards or engage with the pelvic floor muscles. And this is what we mean by uh, the last category, uh, lifting anus, breathing. Yeah. So, uh, for example, when you balance on the uh, ball of the foot, um, you're, you, where the hui in position, the acupressure uh, point, is trying to, cut, yes, to be engaged and uh, tight, squeeze and lift. 好, okay, let's go back to the reverse abdominal breathing. We use this posture as an example. The ba um, hold up heaven to harmonize. Uh, often people say, uh, ask how you how uh, reverse abdominal breathing should be. Actually, um, you don't need to think about how you do it because the posture itself it already encourage you or guide you to do it. So it's a natural um, ab re reverse abdominal breathing process anyway. So when you um, push the hands up to hold heavens, this process is when you reach to the, uh, well, develop more, your tummy towards your spine, you engage with the core. At this point, you're already doing the abdominal breathing, reverse abdominal breathing. And when you are relax your hands and floating your hands down from the side, you'll relax your um, abdominal area or the belly button soft. Then this is, you're already doing the out breath of reverse abdominal breathing. So, this is you the exercises, so uh, while you're following the technical requirement and you are already encouraging your body to do the reverse abdominal breathing without having to make a separate attempt to think about it. And uh, we have been told many times um, that our uh, requirement for general the movement needs to follow to a, the big, the big method and Okay, um, to do it big and to do it slow. So the slowness and the big and the large, uh, what, why are we doing those? Why are we asking for big postures and slow postures?
Because when we slow down our postures, movements, and when we expand and extend to as big as we can, we actually encourage our breathing to become smooth and slow, even and long. 那当你达到细长深云，包括我们前臂式呼吸，你可以用这样的呼吸干嘛呢？可以帮助你止念。最后达到屏气时的一种近乎无念状态。So what's the benefit of、uh, having a smooth, long, deep, and even, um, and, and or closed breathing? Why? It's because this can help, uh, to for us to stop all thoughts in our minds and then reach to the no thought state. No clothes and no thoughts, or、uh, especially、um, our chores and tasks, and you know the 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 thoughts that、um, engage with our daily、uh, daily activity. 那么无念呢？以前我们我们也比较喜欢叫忘我。And no thoughts can be also、uh, de described as forget ourselves. We surrender ourselves. That we, why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to achieve the state of no thought? Why do we want to 中古之时，有智人者，就刚才我们讲的真人、智人，就第二层的人。那么有智人者，叫存得全道，合于阴阳，然后调于事实，去世离俗，积精全俗。然后他可以游行天地之间，四天八八达之外，所以他的寿命也很长。他近乎于真人。Okay, so the book that we mentioned about earlier, the, the Yellow、uh, Emperor in the classics, the Universal Truth. Now, according to that Universal Truth, in the Middle Ancient times, there were people known as the achieved. Now, I put here achieved and and bracket real man. Now, it, remember those four levels of、um, man described. This is the achieved man is slightly under, is on the the second second level, not as、uh, high as the real man. Is the achieved man who had the true virtue, understood the way of life, and were able to harmonize. With the universe and four seasons, they understand.、Uh, they were able to keep their mental energies through the proper concentration. And the、uh, this level at this level, the zhi ren, the intelligent, the intelligent man,、uh, kept their mental energies and focus and refined, harmonized their bodies with the environment. And therefore, they did not show the conventional signs of aging. And were able to live beyond、um, biological limitations. 注意了，这个叫去世离俗。Draw your attention to a phrase called 去世离俗。什么意思呢？大家都知道，我们现在工作生活有时候非常繁忙。有时候会经常想，哎呀，我好想快点退休啊，然后到乡下去种田、去养花、去喝茶，对不对？那你什么？就离开现在的这个繁杂的世俗，你要离开这个位置，到另外一个安静地方待着。呃、uh, ，What does it mean this phrase? Um, the well, this 俗 and 世 means um our regular busy life. Um, the things that we have to do all the time and making us tired. And quite often, you hear people say, "Oh, I can't wait to get retired to be to to retire, so I can enjoy, you know,、um, growing plants and flowers and trees, and enjoy、uh, just, you know, maybe a bit of、uh, farming or grow vegetables,、um, so I can enjoy a slower pace." So, 是 and 俗 Describes the b 
busy, hectic、uh, way of life. So, 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 达到这种无念状态的时候呢，就近乎于是你的神在练功瞬间的这种去世离属。So when we reach, uh, uh, in our practice, when we reach the state of no mind, no thought, and、uh, no self, when we reach to this state of mind, it is、um, we are allowing our spirit. To leave this busy, hectic,、um, and fast, stressful life, we allow our mind to、um, to leave. Not our body, not in real life, but we actually make the form、um, and in focus on the mindfulness of the practice. So, this moment, when you reach this state, when you get to this state, when you get to this state. 你那一那一个呃瞬间是什么？那个时段，你是会感觉整个人你的形和神它是融合在一块去的，而且是不经雕琢、浑然天成的。So in that moment, that um mo present moment of your practice, in this moment can form a freedom of the mind of the the mind and body become one to be to removed from the Uh, the stressful environment, but to emerge with a bigger harmony with a bigger environment. And this time, the 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 Are、uh, re reorganized in a good and healing direction. This is why we often say that breath exercises can improve your body and your body can improve your body. This is why we often say that breath exercises can improve your body and your body can improve your body. This is why we often say that breath exercises can improve your body and your body can improve your body. This is why we often say that breath exercises can improve your body and your body can improve your body. 你气顺之后啊，你的心、你的神就会安静，并且呢，聚合在一块。So this is、uh, the function,、uh, the effect, if you like. So when you're breathing and、uh, it's smooth and deep and long, this will allow our mind to be still, to be calm, to be tranquil. 那么。<笑>所以我们讲，吸呀、啊，调息呀、啊，它就像桥梁或者一个天梯，什么的天梯呢？行和神，它这一个这一条路，这一条路，从行到神的这一条路，全靠吸来进行上通下达。So this is why, if you cast your mind back, when we say the breathing is acting like a bridge from the physical shape to the invisible mind and spirit,、uh, the, this higher level, and this is the picture will show you like a ladder, like a path, like a bridge to lead from connect from our physical、uh, practice. And、through with the breathing regulation to achieve much better state of mind. 好，接下来我们要点头心。Okay, we are moving on. 嗯，刚才讲了，气顺了以后，意才宁，就把它意宁之后呢，才能神聚。那么。调息调好了，自然而然的就会走向调心这么一个层次。So don't forget, we said earlier, when the body is in alignment, in a 
good, the reach uh, form, the correct postures will allow the breathing to be smooth and to be long. And with that breathing, uh, it leads naturally lead to a calmer mind and focused mind, high degrees of concentration of the mind. So this is all like logical, natural development. Now we reach to the cultivation of the mind and heart. So in Chinese, the heart means the mind. So this part is the essence and the aim. So what is Tiao Xin uh, cultivating? So I uh, the purpose uh, of or um, uh, what does it mean to cultivate the heart is means that during the practice of qigong, the practitioner adjust adjust and use one's a high level of concentration or spiritual consciousness, a high level of, of awareness, thinking activities in order to achieve the requirements of our purpose. The function and purpose, um, it, the first one is to achieve anshen, it's to um, calm the mind, to um, revitalize the mind. The now is the brain. It actually, uh, actually, it means the brain. <laughs> we uh, we tend brain is a word like a tan anatomy term. So we use the the brain as the mind. Yeah. So to um, in another way is to let the mind relax, to be at a uh, a state of mindful repair. So in the um, we're going back to the classic teaching. So heart is the yeah it, it says here heart is all um the uh, the generals of all organs is the like the king of all organs and zhu ming the so, uh, as I said earlier, in Chinese, the heart means the mind. And so heart, mind um, are united as one. It, when our heart, uh, our mind is calm and uh, quiet, then all the organs will be a function in an orderly, fun orderly fashion. Mm. So if, if you can imagine, if someone uh, right now is having a, an argument with you and said many, um, you know, things, many words that upset you, then your heart is very feel that there's a feeling of um you know distress in your heart isn't it so you, when you're feeling distress then your organs are there they're all in distress as well so they cannot function as orderly and calmly as they would have been and there are uh, biological signs then when your organs are not functioning um, in orderly fashion. For example, you notice when you're angry, your heartbeat gets faster and your blood pressure maybe got higher and you find your breathing 
may be shorter, and many other physical signs, the changes, and to reflect this internal change. Yeah, and if you're uh, extremely angry, you may feel this energy in you may want you to jump up, you know, physically. And can you imagine uh, that, you know, your internal organs in such a state, can they function well and good for the body, uh, health? And sometimes you may even notice or feel after the argument or this the spur of emotionally emotional um, outburst, you feel tired, physically tired. Why? This is to illustrate, you know, there is a close link um, to the state of our mind and our heart, um, in the relationships, how that can be profoundly affecting the internal organs. Uh, so a happy mind will have happy organs. Mm -hmm. And in the same way, we, we, we can say, if you're in your mind, have a contentment in your mind, then your whole body, the physical body, will be leading a contentment and health. Now there's more uh there's more of um modern science scientific research has proven that when the heart is in meditation state, the nerve activities of the frontal lobe of the forebrain promotes the pituitary gland to increase the uh, uh, sec secret or oh, endorphin, the alpha bet endorphin, <laughs> and then imp improves the self-regulation and functions of the body through the uh, re receptors throughout the body. So, in a simple, uh, simple layman term, is that if you have your mind, it's calm, and uh, your the whole body, the uh, will be able to self-adjust, and the immune system will be improved. So, you think about some happy things, you feel very comfortable, you feel very comfortable, even comfortable. So uh, to, when we practice Qigong, we often uh, use the phrase, um, you know, your frame of mind should be tranquil, peaceful, calm. And it's because we try to create a uh, ambient of, for the body to, to repair itself. Mm. Let's make an example. In five animal frolics. So when we do the um, flying like a bird, we should be imagining that we are the crane, the elegant crane. Um, that we are having the freedom to spread our wings and to fly wherever we want. A crane in Chinese culture has a very high, um, you know, sim symbolic status. It means it, it's a symbol for longevity and um, good luck and elegance. 
。所以，当你在练习这个动作的时候，你想象你就是他，是不是就可以反过来让你心情愉悦？ So when you practice、um, this movement, if you imagine you are the elegant,、um, you know, peaceful bird, you it helps for your body to、uh, to form in the right way, but also to improve the mental、um, state that to be calm,、uh, peaceful, and tranquil. 好，那我们来看一看气功里面的调心的方法，还有呃气功之外的一些方法。Okay, let's have a look at the training methods for、um, cultivating heart. 好，那么一般来讲呢，我们常用的会有这么几种，一种是松劲法，还有一手法，还有一手呼吸法，一手呃，还有我们的默念呃默念法。So broadly, there are four categories in the training methods.、Um, one is relaxation. Uh, And the second category, awareness. Third category, mind on breathing, a method. And fourth is the meditation. 那么双念法里面呢，我们常用一种叫三线放松功。And、uh, I use uh, explain uh, give you example of the relaxation. It's called a three point relaxation. 嗯，呃，一手法里面呢，我们用的比较多的，现在讲的比较多就是动作的一手。And the, the second category in the awareness,、um, I'll give you three examples, three small categories. You can bring your awareness to movements. 嗯，再好一点呢，就一手某一个部位，比如说呃某一个穴位或者丹田。And、uh, to further this awareness, you can、uh, bring the awareness to a particular meridian. 那么像这种，嗯，多啊，像这种方法呢，我们也可以称为就是内景法。Mm. And to,、um, for example, to、um, focus the mind or bring the awareness to Dan Tian or any other、uh, meridians, we call this called inward looking. Okay. Then we have another type called outward looking. That 一手外景呢，一般来讲就可以一手，比如说你喜欢的某一个外部的景象，大海、竹林。Um, this uh, we mean outward looking is、uh, like a tranquil scenery. You can bring your awareness to imagine you're facing a forest or an、um, ocean or anything that bring you peaceful、um, scenery. Uh, 一手呼吸法，刚才呼吸讲过了，我们就不多说了啊。Okay, the mind on breathing. We have already talked on the breathing section, so I pass this one. 还有一种默念法，默念法的话，呃，站桩里面常用的就是呃，默念松松，或者是静静等等等等。Okay, this uh 默念嗯、um, is a little more than meditation. It's like meditation with a quiet uh mantra in the mind, and the mantra in the mind often we can uh we we use. Uh, song means to let go, or jing is to be quiet. So we actually, in your mind, you're reading these words、um, without out loud, but it's a in the mind、um, reading these words in your meditation. 还有就是我们六字句的六字音。Um, an example of this method is the six healing sound. 好，那么。<coughs> 所有所有的这些方法，它是想让你干什么呢 ？So all of these training methods, what do we try to achieve? 它是希望你能够通过，但但不是所有方法同时用啊，你就选一种就行。Yeah. Uh, what, uh, these methods we are achieving, uh, uh, you know, an aim and goal. But of course,、uh, any one. Of the method, it's good enough. You don't have to use all of the methods here this, on display. 那么所有的这些方法，它是为了让你做到，尽可能做到，叫内外两忘，专事一处。第二叫虚于不替，灭除妄念。
So all of these methods, training methods, is to achieve what? Is to help us to achieve the state of the overall being, which is nei wai liang wang, to um, switch off or forget, switch off the inside and outside. So uh, inside of our body and outside of, of our uh, place. And zhuan shi, yi chu, means focusing on the, on the present moment and nothing else. Uh, um, and nothing can replace this present moment and switching off from all thoughts. And there is one thing that remains still, remains important. So the, all of these, um, we, so we're forgetting the uh, all thoughts, but one thing we must keep you know, uh, keep cultivating is the intelligent heart. So cultivating the heart is really teaching us or leading us to this phrase, Tian Dan Xu Wu. Um, it's a state of mind. Um, I go back to the phrase of self-surrender, means you don't have any desire. You don't, uh, you, we, we give up all our eagerness and a desire to, you know, the, um, anything that makes us to want more, to become um, greedy. So we want to be free from all of those temptations. This is Tian Dan Xu Wu, means to give up all of, all of those. 精神内守, the underlined, is to focus on our intelligent heart to be tranquil and be content with ourselves. So, 那么你的真气可从你的病不会生。Okay, the two um, bullet points, I actually tried to explain it already. So uh, the first, yeah, the first, um, uh, well, the second bullet point just come up. It's actually just to uh, lead a life that return to, return to the basics, return to um, the nothingness in our in our mind, and uh, not to be attempted by material uh, temptations, and to become um, uh, controlled by them. Uh, the second bullet point, or the last bullet point, uh, is again to be true with our original self. How we were, how our inner self. Um, I think there is a special word in psychology is uh, not without the obstruction of perception. It's, it's our true self um, to be in uni unity with that. So this uh, is the higher level of our cultivation is uh, all of these um, previous levels is to lead us to have a good, you know, healthy body to enable us to have a healthy mind and the healthy mind will give us the higher enlightenment of um, a true peaceful inner peace to ourselves. Okay, so why do we have Okay, so going back to the uh, question from the beginning, why do we want to learn about the three cultivations? Because 
然后让形神共住。So the the through the three cultivation is to allow our heart, our mind, and this、uh, constantly hovering and busy and dealing with、uh, you know solving problems. This mind and heart to return to return to our body and to be in unity in the whole organic one. With our body and the breath. So, when you bring the spirit back, you will start to pay attention to your body, and then talk to your body. Talk to your body and breathe. Breathe well, after breathe well, your body, your spirit, your mind, talk to the outside, talk to the nature, talk to the universe, and finally talk to the universe. So, when、um, your Um, your awareness or your mind, rather activities, your concentration and consciousness,、um, or you know, return to the body in harmony with our body to form a healthy dialogue and communication with our body. And this is allow our the opportunity for us to then realize our body is part of nature, is part of、uh, forming what what created us. This nature, and to be able to be in harmony and in communication with the nature, and the nature is part of the universe. So eventually, that we're able to、um, to be connected, and you know, in spirit or in in the energy term, the spirit to be connected in the energy level, to be connected with the. Universe, the truth in the universe, and the outer, the infinite,、um, the energy in the、um, universe. So, when we have a conversation with nature, when we have a conversation with nature, we will be able to have a conversation with nature. Infinite universe energy. This level we're calling we call it the cultivation of morality. 那么，呃，说过我们没有太多时间，所以今天就简单讲讲小的狭义的道德。Okay, as I said earlier, this is、uh, one area I I won't have time to elaborate. So I just、uh, very briefly touch upon the concept. 那么，从自修的角度来讲的话呢，我们讲就欲修其身，先正其心。So this is a phrase、um, that we often to describe the morality is if you want to cultivate your body, you must correct your heart first. 那第二个呢，就是三个生活当中要注意的，一是事善，二是呢你的言善。第三呢，你的行善。And the second,、um, you know, like a plain language way,、um, it's basically to say, to see good, speak good, and do good,、um, just to be a kind person. And so,、um, yeah, this is the this is the very very plain and uh, uh, you know description. 就是我们事善，尽可能去多看一些正能量的东西。不要看太多黑暗力量的东西。那么言善就是我们对任何人去去说话的时候，尽可能的去不要伤害别人。那行善增加了，我们多做善事。Yeah. So just explain. So、um, when we when we see things,、uh, you know, see the good side of things. I suppose、uh, it's when when she says "shi"、uh, means to see good. Is to see goodness in other people. To see goodness in、uh, events and have a positive attitude.、Mm-hmm. Um, speak good means that we try to always again、um, speak the kindly. You know to. To other people, and、uh, you know, not、uh, run somebody down if you like,、uh, and then to 行善 to do good deed, to go, do、um, charitable um, um, activities, and to help other people,、um, and to you know rather than、uh, moaning, <laughs> I suppose. So all all the moaning and、uh, complaint doesn't doesn't make any difference. So if we can, everybody can. Uh, do, see good, speak good, and do good. Then,、uh, you know, 
I, I think most of our society will have no problem. <laughs> 所以像李老师讲的一切办法，在给大家讲的开的公益课，就是一种行善方式。And for example, uh, when we um offer all these free um learning opportunities to help our community community to stay together, to be uh, centered together, connected together, this is a good deed, and uh, it should be uh, applauded. 好，我们再回到我们的题目：如何练好健身情绪 ？So returning to the original question, how to practice health qi gong well？ 那么还是借《黄帝内经》的话，他讲：一、恬淡虚无，精神内守，心安而无惧。什么意思？调心。Um, I will return to the um, Yellow Emperor in the classics quote from that book is the tranquility in the spirit, in the peace, calmness, and fearless. Fearless, it means you, yeah, we're, we're not scared and we're confident and not scared. <laughs> 是调形、调身。So it's the yeah the next phrase, 形劳而不倦 means cultivating the body to be uh in another way to persevere to keep practice. 那么通过调息，让气从以顺。And the next phrase, 气从以顺 to allow the qi to travel smoothly. 那当你的心这个君主明白以后呢，当你的身体各个部位各从其欲，得到自己想要的东西，皆得所愿。So all the the 嗯、um, ，你是说身体吗 ？My， 就是当你的心，就我们讲主明则下安嘛，对不对？就所以当你的心很开心、很明白的时候，前面我们是调心嘛，很明白的时候，那么你下面的这些身体内脏，它就各从其欲，它想要什么都能得到。Okay, the next phrase, 各从其欲 means the when your um your mind is um in a tranquil state and your uh, breathing and energy is smooth, the all the internal organs, all your body uh anatomy, the, the body parts will be supplied, will be well looked after. Will be kind, you know. The supply of oxygens and supplies of nutrients will be plentiful, and in order, then your organs will naturally be performing well and function well. 好，这是我今天给大家讲的所有的内容。呃，辛苦李老师，感谢大家坐在这里听了两个小时时间。Uh, that will be a conclusion of my um, lecture today. Um, so thank you for uh, your patience of listening for two hours of of lecture, and thank you, Fei, for translating. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay. But thank you, thank you very much, Master Lai, uh, and uh, we. Uh, we have, I've noticed the time is quarter past three at the moment. Um, I will give everybody a, a short break to grab yourself a cup of tea. You might be tired. Um, and then we start having a 10 minutes um, Q&A session just on the lecture. Um, and then if there's no uh, question, then we'll we will proceed to the uh, Q and A session for the competition. 现在呃，赖老师结束了他的讲座时间，我我想大家都可能很累了。呃，我们休息五分钟，大家喝杯茶。呃，回五分钟以后回来有十分钟。呃，对于赖老师的这个讲座，可以有一个呃互就是互动时间，大家有什么问题可以问一下。如果没有问题的话呢，我们就进行对网络视频比赛。是呃一个一个问答的一个答疑的时间，好吧？好，好，开会。
All right, have a have a rest. Grab yourself a drink, everyone. Five minutes.